Didn't even realize that. That's no surprise. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and fooies for you today and I've got just kind of like a mixture of things. Um, still loving some things, so like some continuing favorites. Um, sparkly shadows, that's no surprise because I always love a sparkly shadow, but I use something different. Um, love this lip combo, love this cheek, just some good things to share with y'all. So if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do favorites videos, new at the drugstore, get ready with me's, reviews, empties, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about Friday favorites. So let's get to them. Okay, so still loving these two palettes. The Palladio Ultimate Nine Count Eyeshadow Palette in Rosy Nudes. I am really loving this palette. I mean, just the quality is so good. So this is the main thing that I have on my eyes right now. I have a little bit of this with a little bit of this in my crease. I have a little bit of this on my lid, but mixed with two other things I'll share with you in a second. And then a little dab of that and that in my outer corner. So let me just give you some quick swatches. We've already talked about this palette, so we're just gonna go quickly through it, but the quality is just really good. I mean, these are blendable, beautiful shadows, really, really good formula. It's affordable. Um, I love the color story, that kind of warm, pinky sort of color story. So pretty. Yeah, the mattes are just really blendable. And then I love that kind of pinky metallic shade. Beautiful. I applied it with my finger. Um, I've used it with a setting spray. It's just beautiful. So yeah, I keep grabbing for this palette and it's it's just kind of like been my go-to. Here is that one really quickly. So pretty. I've got a lot of things to share with you. So that's why I'm kind of moving a little quicker. Still loving the Laura Geller Laura's Essentials Soft Satins. Six matte eyeshadows and two highlighters. Mainly been using this one over either a liquid liner, a pencil liner by itself. Still loving a kind of a little bit more dramatic liner. So quick little shout out to this. I love this palette. This is beautiful. I've worn this one on my lid several times. That's beautiful. And I've applied it lightly as kind of just a light, a light, light catching sort of glow on the lids. Um, and that's really pretty. Again, I am obsessed with this packaging, this kind of vintage floral. It's like vintage fall floral. I just love it. It's beautiful. So yeah, I am still obsessed with that. A liquid liner that I have been really enjoying. The Too Faced Better Than Sex, uh, what's this called? Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And this is in like the brown shade, like chocolate or something like that. Really good. It's just got a really good formula to it. Um, it's kind of a like overall felt tip sort of, um, well, yeah, the applicator is fine. I would say fine. It's it's bendy, um, but it can kind of separate a little bit. So that's the one thing about it, but I really haven't had problems like applying it at all. Um, it's a really pretty chocolatey brown though. So I'm liking that a lot. So like today I used this and did a wing and then I went over it with that Laura Geller uh, powder shadow and it kind of helps to set it. So I really like that. Like today, I didn't use any lower lash line mascara. Kind of just depends on the day. Like I've mentioned before, sometimes I feel like nothing on my lower lashes opens my eyes up more. Sometimes I feel like I need something on my lower lashes, at least mascara. So it just kind of depends on the day and what I'm feeling like. But I've been really liking this liner. I love a chocolatey brown liner, either pencil or liquid liner. Really, really like that. So this is a good one. And this packaging is so pretty. Too Faced did send this to me. Um, and then I got this through Ipsy, like a boxy charm by Ipsy. So yeah. Okay. So sparkly shadows. Y'all know my very favorite is Urban Decay uh, Space Cowboy, right? Is that what it's called? You should, you would think I would know that if it's my absolute favorite sparkly shadow. But every time I'm always like, is that the name of it? It's the sparkly champagne-y color, the moon dust shadow. So that's like my ultimate favorite sparkly go-to shadow. Love it. But I've been using two of the Fenty, what are these? The 
freestyle highlighters. So I've been using a little bit of Trophy Wife, which is the really pretty golden one. Like this is a very yellow gold. So what I did today is I applied this one first, then I applied that pinky shade over the top, then I applied this one. I just have it in a little mini. This one is in how many carats? So it's this beautiful kind of like overall, it's got reflective packaging, that's why I'm not showing you the packaging. This one's just pretty much a sparkly shadow with not a lot of base color, but it's like a silvery, icy white sort of a shimmer to it. It's so pretty. These are gorgeous. If you want just a little hint of a sparkle on your lid, these are beautiful. So um, the Urban Decay one has more of a champagne base to it, but it's definitely not opaque, but it has more base to it than this does. And it's more on the champagne peachy side, whereas this is more on the like silvery white side. So that's why I like kind of layering it because by itself, it almost pulls a little bit blue on me. So I like layering it. So I would put this on with this and it kind of cuts down that sort of really icy white, almost blue tint, the cool toneness to it. So anyway, I just, I love a sparkly shadow and these are highlighters, but they work really well as a sparkly little light catching situation on the eyes. The formula, especially of the how many carrots, it's, it almost feels like a, like a pressed cream or something like that. It has a really interesting formula and texture to it. But I just love it. I mean, you have to like sparkle to like this because it is like micro shimmer. Mm -hmm. So you can see Trophy, Life, Trophy Wife definitely has more of a base to it. It's that really rich, bright gold base to it. Whereas this one has more of just the sparkle. But they're just so beautiful. They just make me smile. I love me a sparkly shadow. I just love sparkle on the lids. I don't know. I mean, who knows? Maybe I have my moments of liking a more matte shadow look, but it's definitely more rare. I definitely like a more sparkly light catching and I look and I especially love it when it's kind of more on the subtle side where just when you move your eyes, it kind of catches the light. I think that's so beautiful. It's one of my favorite kind of looks for the eyes. So pretty. Okay, for blush, I am still loving the Too Faced Cloud Crush Blurring Blush in Velvet Crush. So I have a little bit of this on today. Quick swatch of this. These smell amazing. They smell really good. I mean, they have a strong perfumey sort of scent to them, but it smells really good. And then I love the packaging to it. This is so cute. And I love that the outside of the packaging matches the color inside. I really appreciate that. It just, it's pretty and cute, but then also it's very functional that you can quickly see what you're going for. So I will show you a swatch of this in a second. So yeah, absolutely love this. Uh, Too Faced sent this to me, so thank you so much Too Faced. And then I've been loving this. I've just, I kind of reached for this in, you know, my vanity. I was like, oh, let's just pull that out and play with it. It's the Misho, Misho I think, Misha Beauty. And this is the, no, Misho Beauty single blush. And this is in Madame. This is beautiful. This is really pigmented too. I got this in, I think an Ipsy bag. And it's just this beautiful, how would I describe this? It's actually really close to the Too Faced. It's a little bit deeper and I would say a little bit more on the warm pinky coral side. So that's why I really like them together because this by itself is pretty intense on me. Um, it's pretty bright. So this kind of helps take it down a little bit. So today I put this on first and just kind of buffed it and then put this a little bit higher, just kind of as a little bit more of a pop of color. Um, and yeah, it just ends up being this really pretty kind of like warm, mauve -y, neutral sort of combo. They're both kind of on the satin side. If you see any sparkle, it's the shadows. It's not these. These are both more on the matte satin side. I like to say matte satin because, you know, you want it to be a good matte where it doesn't look chalky, dry, flat matte. These have a little bit of just a really pretty 
very, very slight satin sheen to them that just makes them look really pretty on the skin. So both very beautiful blushes. I really like them and I like them together. Okay, and then last up for lips, still loving this lipstick, which is the e.l.f. Satin Lipstick in Effortless, but I've been pairing it with a lip stain, one of the e.l.f. lip stains. I love these. These are really good. If you're looking for a comfortable, good lip stain. These are amazing. They're like $6. So they're very affordable. Now this one is in pinkies up, but this is not very pink. It's, it's more on, it's still definitely a neutral, but it's more on the like nude side, I would say like brown side of nude, still very neutral, definitely a neutral shade. Um, but see, it's just more on the brown side but it's got a nice kind of staining property to it and it's got a little bit of a glossiness. So I would just put this on over all over my lips, which is what I did today. And then either like sometimes I would layer this all over my lips, but a lot of times I've just been kind of applying it around the outsides of my lips, almost as like a little bit of a liner and bringing in just a little bit of like a pinky tint. They don't look like they would go together and they don't look like they do on my lips, but it's because I have very little of this on, very, very little. So I mostly have this applied all over my lips and then just a little bit of this, like right around the outsides. Kind of like that, you can see I'm like barely touching. So just a little bit more dimension to my lips because this is more like a gloss, like it applies more like a gloss. So I don't really get that kind of definition on my lips. So then using this as almost like a liner, little bit more color, little bit more on the pinky side. And yeah, I just love the combo. And both of these are very long wearing. Like this really sets down and wears very, very well. So even this by itself is a nice long wearing formula. The packaging is fancy and nice. This is affordable. Um, relatively affordable, I would say. Like for how nice it is, it's affordable. Um, but yeah, and then it just kind of really sets down and stays very well. And then you have this that has a nice stain to it. So both just very long wearing, good formulas. And my brain just now caught up that they're both e.l.f. Didn't even realize that until right now which it's very obvious. So there you go, two e.l.f. products that work really well together. <laughs> all right, you guys, so those are all my favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you have been loving or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.